Good morning, last day in Regensburg. We're about to head to the airport. It's gonna be a long journey. There's something nice about an early morning train station. The light's softer and there's less people and it's, it's, it's nicer. We ended up taking a train, which we did not know existed, from like five minutes away from our Airbnb all the way to here. And that was really convenient because the bus was gonna take like 20 or 30 minutes and we got here in five minutes. So now we have to wait for our 8.15 train, which is in 45 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> we got here a little bit early. That's okay. How's your chocolate with a side of croissant? <laughs> That's very tasty. Sometimes you just have to improvise when they don't have chocolate croissants. So we're in the Munich airport and my little lounge app usually tells me which lounges I have access to with the priority pass and like the American Express Platinum card. But this one was not on it because it's brand new and you get access to it with the priority pass now. And it's the best one in the airport, so that's pretty awesome. I don't think we're ever gonna get tired of eating free food that's really good and sitting not at the gate. <laughs> legroom seats as well, which is awesome. over the Bosphorus Strait, which separates Istanbul into two continents, Europe and Asia. I didn't even know it, but we were just in Asia. <laughs> After a two and a half hour plane and another two and a half hours to get here, we're finally in the metro stop. The scam count is already at one. We didn't get scammed, but like, the attempted scam count is already at one. We're ready to be there. It's also so hot. I'm sweating. Ah, we finally made it. <laughs> Boy, welcome to Istanbul. We're finally here, baby. <laughs> Can you tell we're tired? That was so awesome. <laughs> Do I look disheveled? You don't. I'm, uh, I'm sweating on my back. We worked hard to get here. It was quite the journey over here that we made it. Yeah, but we're here. The apartment is outstandingly nice, for, especially for what we paid for it. And it's in a really good location, so that is outstanding as well. We even got this little welcome card. A very warm welcome to Istanbul. We're gonna tell you about all of our plans in Istanbul, but first we're gonna go get kebabs. It's done it. When we said kebab, we were thinking like the classic kebab, but this has fries and tomatoes and chicken and little pieces of uh, bread it's mixed in. And they have these homemade tortilla naan looking things. Very, very, very tasty. And we're back. 
We were planning on having a kebab in our hand right now, but the guy at the restaurant convinced us to stay. He was also really nice, and it was a it was a good time. So they had a nice little outdoor section, and they brought us tea, complimentary tea. So it was nice. Tomorrow we are going to go explore the city, which the city is huge. It's so I guess it'll be more like our first impressions of the city and the main attractions yeah we're gonna try to hit a lot of like the big things like the Hagia Sophia and just all the main big things in the center of the city so that we can spend the rest of our time seeing less touristy things kind of like experiencing local foods and meeting people all the people have been super nice so far by the way which is amazing we love when a place is super nice <laughs> We've been wanting to go to Asia for a while. That was our plan, was to start in Europe and spend our money and then go to Asia where it's cheaper. And since Istanbul is the bridge between Europe and Asia, half the city is in Europe and half of it is in Asia, it seems like the perfect place to transition our time over to more Asia. I'm not saying we're not going back, but our visas have run out in mainland Europe, so we're gonna do something in Asia. We've also decided that since this marks our transition into like a new place, a new period, one might say. We're going to start doing things a little different around here. So my challenge in this city, since Istanbul has so many cats roaming around everywhere, we've already seen eight we've counted in our like 30 minutes of walking around. Every cat equals one push-up and one pull-up. So there's not really a place to do pull-ups in the apartment, but we're going to go to a climbing gym hopefully while we're here and I'll do them there. My goal for Istanbul is to get back on my morning routine. I really enjoy having a routine in the morning. It helps me wake up and helps me get like focused for the day, motivated for the day. Anyway, I fell off of it, but now I'm gonna get back on it. For now, we're pretty tired and we're going to bed. Tune in tomorrow for more Istanbul.